What's up, guys? This is Bobby Douglas, and welcome to another edition of a 2020 NBA Draft Prospect full game video breakdown. Uh, today, we're we'll going to be taking a look at Barcelona guard slash wing Leandro Balmaro. Uh, Balmaro is a 19 year old prospect from Argentina, played his, season, his club season with FC Barcelona, where he got pretty limited run in ACB and EuroLeague action, and he did a majority of he got a majority of his minutes in the uh, secondary league um, in in Spain. But overall, he did show some nice flashes at the higher levels, and I plan on doing two videos on him. One will be this one where he's playing in an ACB game, and another one will be either a lower-level Spanish game or an international FIBA game, just to give you a, a glimpse of what he can do on both ends of the spectrum in terms of playing competition. So with that said, I picked up a game today against Iberostar Tenerife. I hope I pronounced that right. Hopefully my Spanish is decent enough. And, you know, he didn't play a whole lot. Ever. I think he played 12 and a half minutes in this game, but he did have seven points, made all of his shots, had an assist, had some nice passes that didn't lead that didn't lead to a made basket, but they were still good. And yeah, so I'm excited to get into this game with you guys and let's get right to it. So he's number 31 and he's basically running point guard at 6'7 uh, for Barcelona. We'll see him get the ball back right here. And again, he's got pretty much the ball on a string. He does have that tendency to kind of carry his dribble. But I do like his overall fluidity with the ball. You saw him right there do a nice left-handed shovel pass to his teammate, led to an open three. And so again, he is pretty skilled for being 6'7". He moves pretty well as well. And here he is on defense on the ball. Not the quickest guy laterally. Uh, his steps tend to lag a little bit. Looks like he's... It looks like his front half is kind of dragging his back half along on defense. But, and again, not really the quickest guy. He's more of just a skill. Um, you're banking on that skill really translating. You can see him right here. He's out in the perimeter open, but nothing really going on. Here he's moving back. Yeah, and he has pretty long arms and pretty long legs, though. So that's a good thing. Helps him take up a lot of ground, I would say. And here he is on the rebound. He's just, again, I love that little wraparound dribble he does have. Just kind of cups the ball in his hand and just kind of lets it, uh, it allows him to take up space without using a lot of dribbles. Could get called for a carry at times, but I do like that tendency. Looks kind of cool. But again, you're really kind of getting a 6-7 point guard in my opinion. I think, you know, he doesn't have to play point, but I think he is skilled enough to do so. And so it'll be interesting to see how an NBA team uses him. The, the people are kind of all around, uh, all over the board with him. Uh, I have him right now as my 68th best prospect. I'm not really a huge fan of him um, in terms of getting drafted. Right there, he got the steal. Let's see what he does here. Nice finish right there. You saw just limited vertical athleticism, I would say. Uh, let's say we got a timeout here. But a lot of people I've seen him have him in the lottery. Um, most have him in the first round. I'm just really not super high on him. He may move up into uh, draftability range for me by the end of it. But just overall, I'm not a huge fan of his game just now. But I do think the potential is there. And again, he's pretty uh, wiry. Um, definitely should add on strength. But I do like the overall aggression he does show on defense. Along with just being active. And again, he uses those arms really well. Again, really nice wingspan. He just kind of uses that to just kind of bother um, his man on defense, especially on the perimeter. And so again, here he is. We get to see him run on offense, which I think is pretty impressive for a 19-year-old kid to come in to Barcelona, which is a pretty good Spanish club, and run the show. I mentioned that Najee Marshall seems like Tomas Sidoransky. I think Bomaro is definitely more like him. Um... You know, just a guy who's 6'7", can initiate, maybe shoot the ball a little bit. Bomaro, his shooting, maybe one of the reasons why I'm so low on him is because his shooting isn't really reliable at this stage. I think he shot, I want to get these right. So, in ACB, which, what, which is what we're watching now, right? This is the Spanish Domestic League. He was a 42% three-point shooter, which is very good. Actually, no, excuse me. He was a 46% three-point shooter, which is very good. But then you look a little deeper, and that came on 16 attempts, or 13 attempts, and he was 6 of 13 from three. Still pretty good, but obviously a really low sample. Where he got the majority of his run was in the uh, secondary Spanish league, 
And in that league, I think he shot close to 50 attempts, but he was only shooting at a 28, 29% clip. And his shooting has really never consistently been there throughout his history as a prospect. And so there are question marks I have with the jump shot. And so, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it right now, and that's probably why I have him a little bit undrafted. Uh, no, that's, that's going to add soon, so. Looks like we got two of them, though. Yeah, here's another ad, and we can probably skip this one. There we go. And these are just highlights. Let's just get... There we go. That should be it. Yeah. So, again, there's lots of luck. I think he handles pressure pretty well. You saw right there, he just kind of avoided the trap. And, again, having that length as an initiator really helps him out. Again, I do think he's a pretty overall smart player. I think he's really skilled, really knows his reads. Let's see if he hits his three. He does right there. And, again, so you saw the shot right there. A little bit for leading forward, I would say. Um, the form is okay, but it looks a little bit slow. Not going to be an off-the-dribble guy by any means. I think he's more of just a catch-and-shoot threat at best. And again, he only took three shots, and we've already seen two of them thus far. But we'll watch the shot again right here. And again, just takes a pretty long time to get off. Um... It's a little bit centered and forward-leaning. I'm not a huge fan of that form, necessarily. It doesn't really condone itself to uh, or uh, lend itself to being a viable off-the-dribble uh, form, which is fine because that's not really his role in the NBA anyway. But again, like if I'm, look if I'm looking at lottery talents, unless you bring something else to the table, I'm really kind of looking for catch-and-shoot guys. And Bomaro, I don't really think, has that. So that's why I'm a little bit... I actually, I'm a lot more lower, uh, a lot lower on him than most. So right now he's my 68th best prospect, but that's not adjusting for some play, p players who have uh, withdrawn from the draft and, you know, things like that. So he'll probably end up in the f 50s for me, I would say, um, if I had to guess. So again, it's a nice little pass. Again, he's not really making a lot of incisive passes, but he's just kind of reading the defense well, just finding the open player. And again, he has that ball on a string. You'll rarely see him turn it over, so I do like that about his game as well. So again, that was, uh, I don't know who that is, but we got the ball back here. Get a steal for Barcelona right now, and here he is. Immediately goes and gets the ball. So, I do think he could carve himself a role in the NBA. I just, I'm not really sure if I really see. There seems to be a lot of flash with that dribble, and not really a lot of substance. Right there, that was a really nice drive and pass to a rolling big, and uh, the big ultimately finished. But he just seems to look kind of cool when he's dribbling the ball on the perimeter, but he doesn't really go anywhere with it. So, I'm not really sure what the value is for a guy who just sits on top of the key and then passes it, and then never really touches the ball for the rest of the rest of the possession. I feel like he does that a little bit too often for my liking. And so I worry about how he'll translate into the NBA right there. He got totally lost on that screen. Defensively, not the quickest guy as we saw right there. Definitely needs to bulk up. But he does have that frame where he could, in theory, guard one through three. But I don't think he would be necessarily a plus defender. But I do like the effort that he's showing right here. Again, just staying with him. Went under that screen with a spin. Probably not the most efficient thing to do, but you saw right there. So he is up on him. I do like that. And he moved his feet pretty well, but he did get beat slightly. And so here he is again looking for that shot. I do like that he's capable of making one-handed passes with both hands. We've already seen it with his left a few times and his right as well so again I do like that he seems to be pretty comfortable using both hands and so that'll help him a lot in pick and roll situations especially if a team asks him to run it as a handler which I think is probably the best uh, role for him at the moment
So here's Bomara on the ball. That type did a nice job kind of moving his feet. But again, he just, again, he got beat a little bit. And so he had to turn his body away from the, the for, away from his man. And that's going to be a foul call every single time. So again, yeah, just use the arm bar. That's a clear foul. And so he doesn't really have the quickness necessarily to stay in front of these guys, which, you know, isn't a death sentence, but you'd certainly like to have that, especially for a guy who hasn't really shown consistency shooting the ball and just seems to have a lot of uh, good but not great skills at the moment. And so I think you're kind of banking on improvement with Bomaro more than you are the other guys. And so that's why I'm a little bit skeptical of his NBA draft uh, viability. But he's going to be a guy taken in the first round. And I'm just having, I just happen to be a lot lower on him. See, that's a pretty fun handle right there. And then obviously he got, okay, really nice job avoiding the pressure. I think he did a nice little touch pass right there too. That was pretty cool. And so he kind of reminds me of a guy who you'll see on a lot of, um, you'll see a lot of very fun passes in his highlights. You'll see a lot of very fun dribble moves in his highlights. But you'll look at his, Stats, and he'll be averaging like five points and assist a game on 40% shooting and 35% from, or like 32% from three. You know what I mean? So there's, there's just not a lot, a whole lot of substance in my opinion when it comes to his game. But I do think, you know, his skills are fun and I could totally see a team taking him in the first round because of that. Because it is, he is somewhat of a unicorn as, as a six, seven point guard with that type of handle. Because it is a really fluid handle. It's vertical and horizontal. It can go a lot of different ways. So I totally get the intrigue, but I'm just a little bit, um, a little bit worried about it. just his translatability in the NBA. And again, I do like that he always seems to hustle. You know, again on defense, he's kind of trying to harass uh, his man all the time. And so I like that motor. But like when I watch him, I don't really. It doesn't scream out to me that he's an NBA prospect. See the nice handle. Again, I just love the way he has that thing on a string. It's really cool to watch. And you saw a one-handed bounce pass right there. Led to a basket. And so, again, uh, and it, I may also be underselling uh, Bolmero's value as just a pass-to-assist guy because a lot of his passes end up in baskets just – there's one uh, degree of separation between the basket and his pass. So, you know, again, I see him as a backup point guard who can offer length and then um, somewhat perimeter defense as well. And if he really gets that shot down, then his ceiling is totally raised in my opinion. But again, right now, I don't really see a guy who's worthy of taking in the lottery. I don't think he'll end up being taken in the lottery. And um, honestly, I wouldn't take him in the first round at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Moving forward, he's actually out for the remainder of the first half here. Again, only plays 12 and a half minutes. So I'll pause the video here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Didn't do, he actually did a decent amount in his playing time. Had five points, I think. Had a, some good passes. Had some encouraging defensive moments as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I did a good job explaining my case with Leandro Bomaro. And I will see you for the second half where he doesn't really play a whole lot in that one, obviously. But um, we'll see some more plays from him. And yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you for the second half.